the Mimbers Open Hunters Chase is next. And we've got a small field for this as well. Two miles and four furlongs, 0 to 100. And about me at the top are Stu Gray, Mick Darm Smith, Thomas Rogers, Los Angeles, Paul Rhodes, Verglas for Alex Cherry. Satnav is Paul Rhodes' second runner. Matt Cooper's got Gypsy Kelly and Poplan. So, seven in it then. Just two of them with two runners. Calling and away. And Paul Rose got two identical looking horses in this, so that's going to be interesting as they get over the first. They're all safely over it. Gypsy Kelly on the inside of Verglas. And then Pop Lang is third on the inside, with a Batman on the outside fourth. And then Saturn having Los Angeles. Finally, Mick Darm Smith. Oh, and the leader's gone. He just ran straight into that. The jockeys sat there looking up in the, in the air, saying, What happened there? Well, the horse just forgot to jump. That's what happened there, and it's out. So, Gypsy Kelly's gone, but stable mate Popland is in the lead. So, Popland in front then as they get over the next. Oh, Verglas in second, then Mick Darm Smith. Sat now in Los Angeles and about me the top weight at the back. So Verglas is then in the lead. Just from Popland and Mick Dam Smith and the two Paul Rhodes horses sat now in Los Angeles when I started commentating on this. About, I don't know, eight, nine seasons ago, or it was, I can't remember now. He had told me Paul Rhodes would have two runners in a hunt to chase 0 to 100. I would have laughed at you. It just goes to show. You get the right horses in your game, you can be alright, but if you don't, you won't. And I know there's been a bit of a discussion over the years about whether how much luck is involved in this, and I think. The fact that Paul Rhodes has dropped back so much shows you that a lot of it is luck because he's obviously not getting the horses in his game for some reason. But he can't be doing anything wrong because he was—he knows what to do. He was winning classic after classic before and having gold cup favourites and all sorts. And now he's down in the hunters. And it's got to be just down to the fact that the horses in his game aren't as good as the ones he used to have in his game years ago. They get over the next, which is all down to luck, as I think Josh quite often says. Huge amount of this game is about luck. And it's the Paul Rhodes pair that have gone into the lead now, being challenged there by Verglas. Then comes about me as they get over the next, and a mistake by about me, the top weight. That might have put pain to that one's chances because I'm going to give weight to weight. Verglas is in the lead again as they come past the winning post with one more circuit to go. And Verglas in front from Los Angeles second and sat now third. In Poplan is fourth. With Mick Darm Smith and about me. And loose horse is Gypsy Kelly. Jumped a lot better since she's not a jockey on her back. And they get down to the next. And we'll safely over that. With Verglas. Going along nicely in the lead. I've been around for a few seasons. Probably the most ex experienced horse in the race. Los Angeles though looming on the outside. And Poplan back in third. Darm Smith's on the inside as they take the tenth. We wouldn't rule anything out of this yet. And over that final ditch they go. With Los Angeles on the inside now, just in front of Verglas. Fighting back the second, Paul Rhodes horse has got itself boxed in behind its stable mate, which is a bit of a dopey thing for the jockey to have done. He could quite easily just switch around the outside of Verglas, unless, of course, he's keeping it covered up for as long as possible, unless it stops when it gets in front. Now he's switching to the outside, and let's see what it does. But it's Verglas who's got into the lead as they get over the second last, and Los Angeles on the inside fights back. Verglas is fighting back now. Satnab is starting to run on it. It's between these three, surely, then as they race into the straight with one to take. It's Los Angeles, the first 
just great. Verglas on the outside over the final fence. They go. Verglas just pokes his head in front. Los Angeles is trying to fight back. He's going to be quite a through finish. They race up towards the line. It's close between the two of them. It's Los Angeles on the far side. Verglas on the near side. Just the great head. He's just in front, I think. But you wouldn't like to say with all some of the handles have been in the past. But it looked to me like the grey nose was just in front. Well, that replay looks like it's even further in front. I don't know what the jockey was doing on the third place horse there. So, yep, there it is. Los Angeles for Paul Rhodes is the winner. Verglas for Alex Cherry's second. Satna for Paul Rhodes. Again, was third. Poplan Matt Cooper fourth. And about me for Stu Gray was fifth.